Yo right, lads, today I'm once again doing tournament predictions and today I'll be attempting to predict the Women's Euros taking place in England this month. It's quite a simple process, I'll simply show my group predictions, explain why, and then I'll do the same for the knockout stages. Fairly straightforward, so let's not waste any time. In Group A I have England in 1st, Norway in 2nd, Austria in 3rd and Northern Ireland in 4th. England will surely finish in 1st, they're the best team in the group and they have a top coach. I've tipped Norway to finish second because they have players like Ada Hegerberg, Karlan Hansen, Ingrid Engen and Captain Maren Mielder who play at top European clubs and while there's always a chance they will finish first, I think second is more realistic because I do think England are the better side. Austria have Bayern Munich duo Sarah Zadrasil and Karina Weiniger but I think Norway have more overall quality within their ranks. Northern Ireland will lose all three games and have no chance of doing anything. Sorry to the Northern Irish, but they're a terrible side and they aren't going anywhere. In Group B, I have Spain in first, Germany in second, Denmark third and Finland bottom. Spain are probably the favourites to win the entire tournament with a bunch of players within their ranks who play in the successful Barcelona side who won the Champions League last year and came runners-up this year. In Alexi Puteas, they have arguably the best player in the women's game and they have quality absolutely all over their team. Germany are looking a little bit patchy going into this tournament. They've played five games this year, winning only one, drawing one and losing three of them. A lot of their players either play at Wolfsburg or Bayern and their squad is a little inexperienced with a few veterans sprinkled in there. Denmark have Pernal Harder in their squad who plays for Chelsea and they were runners up in Euro 2017 but the quality of Spain and Germany in my opinion will be too much for them. Finland are ranked 29th in the world and I can see this group being one where Spain and Germany both finish on 7 points with Denmark on 3 and Finland with none. In Group C I have the Netherlands in 1st, Sweden in 2nd, Portugal in 3rd and Switzerland in 4th. If I'm honest this is a little bit of a curveball prediction because Sweden are ranked 2nd in the world and won the Olympic silver medal for football last year whereas the Dutch are ranked 4th. However my intuition is telling me that Sweden will start the tournament slowly by losing to the Netherlands but then they will grow into the tournament. Despite Switzerland being ranked 10 places higher than Portugal, I suspect there will be a shock somewhere in Portugal's opening game against the Swiss will see them win and ultimately finish third. In Group D I have France first, Italy second, Belgium third and Iceland bottom. Despite France seemingly imploding before a tournament as per usual, I think they'll do enough to finish top. In terms of FIFA rankings, the fight for second is actually a pretty interesting one with Italy ranked 14th, Iceland 17th and Belgium 19th. Form-wise, Italy look the best and I favour them over the other two for second because their recent opposition has been of higher quality and for that reason I have Iceland bottom because despite having better form on paper than Belgium, it's against poor quality opposition. Well, let's not waste any time and get straight to the knockout stages. The first quarter-final is a classic tie. England versus Germany. England going into it would have better form, currently being unbeaten under Sarah Weigmann and having beaten Germany 3-1 in February. I think it will be a more close game and I think it will be quite stressful, but I think England will get the job done, maybe 1-0. Spain play Norway next and I think Spain will get the job done here as well. Norway are decent and will probably look to make it hard for the Spanish, but their style would eventually break the Norwegians down and move into the semi-finals. Netherlands versus Italy is again an interesting one, the one that in the men's game would be a very entertaining heavyweight clash, but here's one where the Dutch are clear favourites and I see Italy trying to use the dark arts and sitting deep to try and stay in the game, but eventually they'll become unstuck late in the game and be unable to rescue it. The last quarter final is arguably the best title of the round, France versus Sweden, third versus second in the FIFA rankings. Given France's on-field issues and the loss of Les Sommers and Henri, I think this will be a game where they'll lack the star quality to get the job done against Sweden. In the semis, it's a rematch of the Euro 2017 semi-final where a Weigmann-led Dutch team beat England 3-0. England recently beat them 5-1 and that confidence will see them win a more cagey and tactical battle 2-0. The second semi-final is Sweden versus Spain, the two favourites in my opinion. This game will see Spain really dominate the ball and I think Sweden will be forced to defend deep and they'll struggle to maintain possession and I think in the end that this will take its toll and the Spanish will win. Well the final is England versus Spain at Wembley. This will be England's third Women's Euro final and it will be Spain's first. It will of course be a year and 20 days since England played a final there, the men's team having lost on penalties to Italy. And you know what? I think it will happen again. England will defend astutely, they might create a few chances, and they will resist the incessant Spanish pressure, but I think in the end, they'll lose on penalties. Yet more heartbreak for the three Lions as history repeats, and they lose a European final on home soil in identical fashion in the exact same stadium. Boy, do I hope I'm wrong.